So what you're seeing here is some of the sorting that got done today. It's uh, Tuesday, the uh, what are we at? 17th of April. And so they've started to sort through some of these parts here. This is the first shipment that's come in of the eight millimeter thick aluminum. Just to give you an idea of that, if I put my fingers up here, you can kind of get a sense of it or next to the ring, my Mobius ring. But uh, you can sort of see uh, an idea of the thickness there. These are uh, window frames that you're looking here. These go around the house. We have 360 degrees of glass around the whole uh, salon and uh, super salon, as we're calling it. And then uh, you can start to make out some of the shapes here now, some of the different curves that go into the hull. Those all go down at the very bottom, pretty much those plates there. These ones are some of the longitudinal pieces. And again, you can see this kind of slotting that we do for the uh, welding to give us access to that so it can uh, be a continuous weld when the um, stringer goes into there. And then uh, over here, you can start to see, a, again, a selection of the uh, frames that are down at the bottom. So that'll give you a sense of the uh, slope of the hull at different spots. Uh, this very big slot here is where the uh, keel bar goes through. That's uh, 25 millimeters thick. So there's a bar that you can see is, is pretty darn big. You can see the span of my hand. Uh, if I remember correctly, my hand spans about eight inches, a little bit more. So it'll give you an idea. So this would be the actual bottom of the hull of the boat. Down here at the very bottom, it's about uh, 15, 16 millimeters thick and varies as we go around to the top and gets uh, uh, down to uh, six millimeters up near the top. And so you'll see places, see if I can find one here for you. Uh, here. Uh, I was going to try to find you one where the thickness changes, but I don't see it right now. Anyways, you can start to see the different plates getting laid out here, and then there'll be more. You saw the big official welding of the first one, which was this joint here, and uh, it'll give you a bit of a sense. That's frame number 16. That's back uh, where the boat's about the widest, not ex quite exactly the widest, but close to it. So give you a bit of a sense of scale. So these things get welded up in a, in a precise measured fashion. We have a pattern on the floor and lots of measuring we do to uh, get those things welded up correctly. Then they get tipped upside down, put in the right place here on the jig that's been built, pretty much finished now. And then the whole assembly starts taking place with one frame at a time and then the longitudinals that go across them through all of these kind of slots. But uh, here's a good one that'll give you a sense of size and scale and change. So this is number two, frame number two, back in from the bow. So you can start to see how um, you know close it goes to a point, obviously, at the bow itself for a wave piercing style of hull and boat that we've got. And then starts broadening out more and more through each hull. You can see sort of these ones here coming up next. Uh, this is number eight uh, over here. You can see how we've got the markings uh, have been etched into uh, each plate here so we know what they are and then there's location markings like this here that you can see if you look closely and uh, then you can start to see these other plates going further aft uh, and uh, just sort of see this is frame number 13 over here and you can just see that uh, a different shape to the bottom as you move down the boat at different spots all right that's your update for today Got these hull plates stacked up now so you can get a nice graphical view of how the hull shape changes. This piece right here in the foreground is going right down at the uh, hull side. So all of these are showing you the shape of the bottom of the hull. This one in the foreground, the smallest one, is closer to the front. That's number three, frame number three. So three meters back from the bow and uh, gives you an idea of the steepness of it at that point. And that big one in the background you can see is frame number 12. That would be uh, oh, uh, partway through the main salon area. So you can just get a sense of how it's uh, a different kind of curve for the whole place and the uh, shape of the bottom. So we're going to get more visible when all of that stuff starts getting mounted onto the frame over here. Well, if you can hear me above the noise, I thought this was a good shot for you to get some comparison. Uh, this uh, long, skinny one here that you see in the foreground of the plates that are getting cleaned up and stacked up here now, that's the uh, shelf that goes along the uh, rudder. So that big hole in the middle there is where the rudder post comes up through. But the point would be, is you can see there for the width of the boat, it's, uh, pretty much near the uh, very aft end of it. And now if you compare that to the frames closest to the wall, 
that are more in the middle of the boat, you can start to see a difference in the uh, beam the width across the boat. And this bigger one here that's standing up, that's frame number two. So that's uh, two meters back from the bow up at the front. And you can get a sense of how obviously different the uh, width of the boat is up at that point. And you can also start to see the uh, difference in the shape of the hull itself. These plates that are closest to the wall there that uh, I think that's number 12 or something. Yeah, so that's plate number 12. And that would be a little bit more than, yeah, it's about halfway through the boat. So if you think of the uh, bottom of the boat, what it looks like when the plates get welded along that shape, you get a sense both for the width of it and the uh, shape of the bottom compared to what we look like up here at the front, which is more like a um, an axe shape for a uh, wave piercing kind of a hull. But we'll show you more of that later on. Anyways, that's the latest for you.